Aditya was planned long back, but uh, you know, I think they have changed the uh, what should be done. You know, first from it should have been in 400 orbits on our Lord. Now it is going to the Langrigian one point. It was supposed to 400 kg satellites. Now it is 1475 kg satellite. It will remain for five years. So its mission requirements have changed, and it. Uh, I think it will add to the total solar physics, persons working in the solar physics, and it will also add to the knowledge of uh, mankind as far as our solar system is concerned. This will also tell us something about our uh, Milky Way in which we are existing. See, uh, this is an equally important uh, mission as far as the scientific world is concerned. You know, when Aditya L1, that is, it will go to Lagrangian point L1, and that's around 1.5 million kilometers from here. So it has got uh, seven uh, experiments, you know. Uh, out of that four will be monitoring the solar flare, solar winds, also what energy particles are coming. They will also monitor the in ultraviolet rays. Uh, something like the 120 to 125 days, it will go to hello orbit. So, you know, it will take around four rounds. Uh, we always give a, you know, energy or impulse or we file the thrusters at the perigee to give the increase the apogee. So for apogee will be highly elliptical and then it will go to the it will go out last it will be fired. It will go out of the influence of the gravitational influence of Earth and then it will go to the orbit, you know, what we call it it's not a I mean it's a, some sort of transfer orbit for L one. Well electronics we have to import. But all optics, everything has been done in India. All the satellite has been fabricated, the thermal control, the radiation hardening, communication links which is now in X-band, everything is designed, made in India. Electronics we have to import because electronics is not being done in the country. Parts we have to import.